it's only a matter of time before more and more of that happens and more people die. For those that regularly drive Highway 99 through Lodi, hearing about today's deadly skydiving accident, though tragic, not surprising. I'm on 99 almost weekly. Rick Costa has lived in San Joaquin County for years and drives this stretch of 99 for his car hauling business. He says he's thought having divers jump so close to the highway was never a good idea. Not very safe yeah. because the way that they do it, they actually fly over the freeway and then come back to the grass where they land. It's a weird place to have the drop zone, I would say. Jeff Skadberg from Acampo has seen several skydivers over the freeway through the years. You see them coming down and they're, you know, someone always swings around and then, you know, it looks like they're going to land on the freeway, but they don't normally. I seen the whole like, top of that guy's trailer and I couldn't believe it. Like, wow. Today's tragedy also hitting home for truck driver Eric Mello. I've seen him coming down and stuff over the years. It's crazy. He's driven this stretch hundreds of times, hauling loads and drives the same type of walking floor semi-trailer that was involved in today's accident. That would be a wreck. I feel bad for the driver and the, and the family. This is terrible. With the way the winds are. For Joseph yeah. Williams from Fresno, he's been taking skydiving classes and couldn't believe anyone would jump during the windy conditions seen throughout the day. If the wind hits the wrong way and you're not holding on tight, it just takes you away and there's no correcting it at that point.